My name is Travis Jagodzinski. I teach at Ryan Road in fifth grade, and I teach math and science. When I'm thinking about the most important transfer goal, it's kind of an impossible question because I think they're all extremely important. Thinking flexibly is really important for my students during that time, knowing that they can approach a problem from whichever way makes sense um, is a fantastic thing for students. That means that any given problem could have three totally different looking solutions and students know that there's no one way to find the answer, it's just what makes sense for them. It might be that we're all solving a multiplication problem and one student looks at the problem and says, you know, I can change the numbers to make it something easier to work with and then at the end I know I added a couple extra groups, I'm going to subtract those groups. Another student looks at it and says, oh, you know what, I'm going to use the U.S. standard algorithm to solve it. So students are looking at a problem and making a decision about how to approach it based on what makes sense to them or even within that problem, how do those numbers work? Is there an easier way I see solving this problem because of the numbers? When students reflect back at the time in my classroom that they'll see that you know, math is much more than just working to find a solution to a problem. There's the collaborative approach, there's the different types of solutions, thinking flexibly, there is the fact that you know we work through tough problems and we don't give up and that is a huge piece of fifth grade math is persevering through and knowing that it might be messy looking, your paper might have cross-offs and all sorts of things erased but at the end you can say, hey, you know, I worked really hard and I was able to get to the solution and I was able to figure it out. 